you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, something that you guys have been asking for for a while that I get quite a few comments about, but I haven't remade this video in a bit because I want to let it fluctuate a little bit. You know, I didn't want to just do it so soon because then the answer would always be the same. So the video is the best players in each position that I personally like. Sometimes you guys comment, oh, wow, you use the best player at that position. Well, I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes the best players at the position will be the highest rated ones. But most of the time, I don't even take the highest overall card. So I never really understand that comment. People literally are like, you know, you use the way to pick the best player at a position. I didn't even take the highest overall, so that's not even valid. But I'm doing this final video before Mutt Heroes drops next week. The final video, I mean, of the best players at each position. I haven't done this like in two or three weeks. So I'll do one now to give you guys the final updates on all the ranks and people before the new promo comes out next week. And then when the new promo inevitably does come out, I will go over this whole video again in like two or three weeks again to update you guys mid promo. Now, if you guys don't know how this works, I go one by one through each position and give you guys my personal recommendation of what card you should be using in every position. I've tested a lot of them. I spent a lot of coins, tested abilities. I have a pretty good idea of what I like writing this game and how the meta plays. So I'll go over who I recommend at every position. So coming over to the auction block, actually before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button boys. We're like about 8.5k at this point, maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit more. Not entirely sure, I haven't checked today, but if you guys could so kindly go down below, hit the subscribe button. Let's grind out to 9k. Turn on that noti bell to get time sensitive videos, to get up to date with all the new stuff in Madden. And guys, comment down below any players you think I missed in this list, and try not to tell me I picked the best card, because I most likely probably didn't, depending on who I ended up taking per position. And let's drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Now let's start. So we're going to run just the way the list is set up here. So we're going to start our quarterback. Go over to 90 to 91. See, again, I'm not even starting 92 to 93. I'm picking the guys I like. So for me personally, with the way the game plays, it's obviously not these guys right here. Pat Mahomes is still pretty good, but I got to go with Lamar Jackson. I always factor in the price. So that's a big part of this. I can't spend too much time on each card going over individual stats. So, I'm going to have to keep this short and sweet per card because if I did every one by stats, I'd be here for 30 minutes each. So, Lamar Jackson, 90 overall quarterback. It, to me, it's pretty simple. For 350k, that is the best bang for your bucket quarterback. He can make almost all the passes I do. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm I currently use him. He makes a lot of good passes. Doesn't go, he doesn't overthrow. He doesn't overthrow any more than Mahomes or Vic did. And he's the fastest quarterback in the game. We've got to throw under pressure, good throw accuracy on the run, and decent throw power, decent throw accuracy short. With the trust me with the right chems with john madden and everything he plays amazing for me now the only guy who's going to come short who's going to come close to contending with him is going to be this redux michael vick his price is coming down a lot from one million he was above one he was like 1.8 million coins if he gets like 700k he might start contesting lamar jackson because although vick is better price wise you can't you can't beat lamar jackson now for the halfback the halfback for me is a tough choice right now because obviously with the way the game is trending we're gonna be getting new halfbacks soon so i don't want to recommend guy that like i'd recommend picking up now so like if you look at it right gail sayers probably is the best running back but i still wouldn't recommend him to be honest with you guys i would wait or i would wait at running back right now until we get the new promo and see what we get for now guys just pick up marcus allen for 100 130k 130k he gets the job done he still plays amazing for me i still got him just for 130k use him pick up a budget back just wait I mean, Marcus Allen for me is still the best back for his price. 130k, you can't beat that. Hold on to him for now. Wait for the new promo. Get your money right back, and then go all in for the new running back. Now at fullback, fullback, I really like this new Kyle Juice check, or however you say his name. He looks really nice. Either him or Corey Schlesinger. This card looks good because the lead block. But again, in my opinion, if you guys don't want to spend all the money on him, or Schle same thing with Schlesinger, they're both expensive fullbacks. I'd recommend either one of these two. I love Schlesinger. He plays really good for me. Got high run block, high run block, good impact block, and good lead block. Kyle's Juchek is a little bit cheaper, most likely, because he is, in fact, a heavyweight. We should keep him down. He's 130 on 163 if you guys actually want to spend money on a fullback. But if not, it's understandable. On to the next position. So for wide receiver, I'll give you guys two total, considering the fact that, obviously, wide receiver is a position played by three people. So, at least in Madden. So in that case, I will give you at least two of them. I won't give you a third. I'll give you two total that I like. Now, for me personally, I love this Julio Jones. I think he's a stud. I think he's a beast. And he's coming down in price slowly but surely. So definitely stay on top of that. 
Julio and Randy Moss. Now, I wouldn't go the, the top tier Randy Moss. That's too expensive. I'd go this Randy Moss right here. These two right here are perfect complements to each other. They're both huge, so you're gonna get the height advantage. They're both really fast, so you're gonna get a speed advantage. They both are athletic beasts, so you're gonna have a jumping advantage. They both can catch really well. They both run pretty good routes. Julio is going to be better than Randy Moss in most ways, only besides speed, only because Julio obviously isn't a power up, he's the full card. If you power up Julio, and you power up this Randy Moss to a 90, you're gonna have two top flight wide receivers on your team. I would pick up Julio, but I have too many nat wide receivers to really spend more money. Now, at, at tight end, I love the Shannon Sharp. I really do. Now, again, a little budgety option for you guys. If you can't afford Shannon Sharp, you don't want him. George Kittle, 87 overall, still a beast for me. But Shannon Sharp is like George Kittle if he like took steroids. He's faster, has better strength, better catching, better route running, better spec catch. The only thing is the run blocking. But Sharp is a little bit more expensive, although he's kind of cheap for his overall, and he keeps coming down, so just stay on top of his price. Now, Lyman. Anthony Munoz, pretty obvious. He is the best left tackle in the game, and he's coming down in price again. So now, when he was 350k, I couldn't really justify a left tackle for that price. But at 240 and and still going down, I'd still recommend him. At left guard, Bruce Matthews again, price still coming down below below 260. Definitely a great price. I'm not gonna spend too much time on Lyman. That would just be a waste of time because it's obviously preference. Kevin Maway, I got him for two, like I think 40 this morning. So I'd highly recommend if you can get Kevin Maway for below two, uh, 260, 250 ish. Great value for the best center of the game. He can run block and pass block, which is why I had to make the upgrade earlier over Jason Kelsey. Best center in the game, in my opinion, that's affordable. Blows Jason Kelsey away in every stat. Obviously, there's a limited time Kelsey, but you can't really count that because that card goes for over a million coins. Now, at right guard, I personally like Larry Allen as the best right guard to me. He might actually be the best one overall wise. Didn't even realize that when I said it. But for me, I love Larry Allen. He's a beastly card. Marshawn is pretty good. But Larry Allen for 140 is an awesome value. Top tier run blocking, top pretty good pass blocking, top tier strength, awesome right guard. Now right tackle, right? There is some limited time guys, there are some high overall guys, but I personally think the bang for your buck comes right here with either Demar Dotson or Lane Johnson. Now the reason for that here is that the other ones are too expensive, right? So Lane Johnson and Demar Dotson. If you want like top tier threshold pass block, you can go to Demar Dotson. I personally prefer Lane Johnson because Lane Johnson could do both. He has better awareness, better strength. He can actually run block. Like DeMar Dawson's a liability. If you run to the right side, he will get shedded. So for that reason, I feel like he just kills your run game on the right side. While Lane Johnson can do a little bit of everything. I personally would pick Lane Johnson, but if you're just a passing guy and you don't care to run, then most likely DeMar Dawson is your guy. Now coming down to the defense. At left end, I personally like a lot of guys. This, this one was tougher, right? So I still think DeMarcus Lawrence is really good, but his price doesn't validate that anymore. I would personally think that I think for the bang for your buck, Strahan for 117k is a value, or even go over to the 90s, and then you can get Reggie White or Cam Jordan. Like I personally have Cam Jordan because I got him for free, but Cam Jordan hits a lot of powered up. He hits a lot of threshold. I really do enjoy this Cam Jordan. I think Cam Jordan or Reggie White are definitely the moves to go. I left end now. Demarcus Lawrence, in my opinion, if he was like 150, would be the better option. But at 250, he costs more than these 90 overall ends. So I mean, this is preference, right? If I had to choose. Reggie White might be the move. He might be the move over Cam Jordan, although it's so close. It's literally so close, and Cam Jordan's a little bit cheaper, so that's up to you guys on that one. I can't give you guys a definitive answer on those two because they're so similar. Now, at right end, it's pretty obvious. Same guy's been all year because this guy can be powered up all year. You never have to take him off your lineup. You know he's going to get plenty of upgrades. He's a monster. He plays good now. He'll play even better when he gets upgrades. Aaron Donald for 144K. I wouldn't recommend anyone else over him. I have him fully powered up. He's a monster. I'd hold on to him for as long as you could and just wait on that. Now, going over to the next position, which I believe is defensive tackle. This one's a tougher position. Now, at the moment, I'd, I'd actually recommend Alan Page. So before, I would have said he's too expensive, but he's currently falling in price quite a bit. He's at 240. If you guys could scoop him up pretty soon for the low 200 range like he is right now, you could buy him now and probably resell him later if you really don't want him for 280. But for the moment, you're getting a stud defensive tackle for a very cheap price, in my opinion. Now, to go over to the next position, we got left outside linebacker. In my opinion, this one, this one's tough. So we got Khalil Mack, obviously, in the game. I think it really comes down to Khalil Mack versus Von Miller. But Von Miller's free, so I'd recommend you still just stick it out with Von Miller. Khalil Mack's got an upgrade, and to power him up will cost way too many coins. It'll cost you over a million coins altogether with his power up and his elites. Von Miller's free. If anything, just power him up. This card's a beast. I have him. Plays out of his mind. Von Miller, by far and away, is the best left outside linebacker. Because I do include price, guys. Don't forget that when you comment down below. 
Price is a big factor in whether or not you should get them because if they're overpriced, they're not worth their they're not worth their stats. A middle linebacker, I personally don't think you should buy a middle linebacker this year. I don't. I think that the move this year is going to be these two middle linebackers right here, Shazier and Devin White. The two most athletic, fast, hard hitting linebackers. All you get no there's no linebackers in the game right now. Besides Patrick Willis, but he costs millions of points. That you can get speed, good zone, good hit power, good user ability, good block shed. Like they, they, they have everything. Good play record, tackling. These cards are both nat cards for free. My linebacker position's locked up for quite a while. If you couldn't get Shazier though, and you can't afford him, I'd recommend you pick up the power of Patrick Willis, power him up to his 89 overall, and then rock him and Devin White from the Gauntlet Solos. Now, for the odds right outside linebacker, guys, I, I don't have to, I can't trust this enough. Lawrence Taylor, 300K. He was, I saw him for 280 before. He is a steal. This card is amazing. Fully powered up. You cannot go wrong. He'll be on my team all year. That's why I love him. You won't be wasting any coins because you literally will have him on your team all year. You don't have to resell him and rethink about it. He is a lock at the right outside linebacker position. He can do it all. He's fast, athletic, can block shed, can stop the run. Don't double guess a Lawrence Taylor card. Now, cornerback. Willie Brown is up there. He's on, so I'm going to do two or three cornerbacks for this because cornerbacks, you obviously use three of them. Willie Brown's up there because I got him for 240 before. He's coming down in price drastically. And again, he can hit the zone, man, press, and play rec threshold. And he's fast and tall as a whole. You can't say much more with Willie Brown. I've spoke about him enough in past videos. Now, next on the list is Desmond Trufant, guys. He may be expensive, but look at this card right here. Same thing like Willie Brown, if not better. He's fast, tall, zone, man, press, and play rec threshold if you power him up and chem him up. This card overall is a beast. Now, for the third cornerback, I do love a lot of these guys like Tredavious White, and I do love guys like Richard Sherman, but they're too expensive, so I'd rock with Gilmore. Gilmore, like th that's a squad right there for me. Gilmore, Willie Brown, and Trufant, those are beastly corners. I do love Jalen Ramsey, but for the time being, he does not have an upgraded card. And Gilmore comes pre-built with abilities, although he's kind of expensive. If you, if you put him into your lineup, he has all the abilities for you, and then you can just sell him when you're done with him. I love those three cornerbacks as a whole. Now, coming over to free safety. Free safety is a tough one right now because of how positionless it is right now. Like, there's really no good options besides Brian Dawkins, and he's way too expensive. So my recommendation would be either power up Brian Dawkins, which is what I use, or you could wait. Like, halfback, same thing. Power up Brian Dawkins is almost the same thing with a little less hit power, a little less zone. Very similar card, cost a fraction of the price, and you could rock with him for now as a stud free safety like I've been doing. Now, for me, this is how I call this the waiting game. I'll use him for now. If this Brian Dawkins comes down, I will buy him, toss him to the power up set. If he does not come down, then I'll wait for a new free safety, such as Deshaun Taylor and Ural Thomas or something. And I'll wait for a nice new jacked cornerback that's like so, such as like a star, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't miss on this one, like Deshaun Taylor. And I'll make the pick up then, but I don't need to rush free safety. And now strong safety, guys, toughest position in the game because you get a free Pat Tillman. So it's really hard to rate. So for me at this moment, if, you can, if you're not close to Pat Tillman, it's so simple. You pick up Ken Houston for a 150 and you wait to snipe him out for cheaper. You can't go wrong with Ken Houston. This card has top tier speed, good excel, good tackle, good play rec, good pursuit, good man, top zone, top hit power. This card's a beast, can do it all, can chase down anyone on the field. And I, I'm trying to use him until I get my Pat Tillman. Once Pat Tillman's like a 90 overall, I'll make the switch. But for now, can use him to good plug and play that you need on your team at this moment and make the best of it, guys. Now, someone's gonna comment, who should I have a kicker? Guys, I don't know. Kicker is a weird one. I don't I don't know what kicker you should get. Look at this right here. I got I got Graham Gano. He gets the job done with 85 kick power. Don't overthink it. Guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Let's get to 9K as quickly as possible. Turn on that noti bell. And to show support in the video, make sure to hit that like button, boys. Get the video to 200 likes. I'd be great. That'd be greatly appreciated. Comment down below what you guys are doing with your positions and what you think was the best that I might have missed out on. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.